Hey guys, this video will be posted on YouTube. Just feeding a couple of snakes. Here's my big pavetta. He's feasting. And there's my little baby female. Hopefully she, I don't think she's bre breeding size yet for this year. Maybe next year. And here's the stud, the boy, feasting. Just enjoying that frozen thawed rat. This is, this is actually my first time that I've, I'm feeding frozen thawed to my snakes and to these wild caught puff adders. This is the first time that they're eat, uh, feeding frozen thawed rats as well. And then up here, I've got mole snakes feeding also frozen thawed. Also first time, the black mole snake and the brown mole snake. The juvenile mole snake is around here somewhere. Uh, he still well, he, he, he doesn't show any interest in taking frozen thought. He still likes his food alive. And here's my baby python, just to put him here for the for the heat. And a nice lamp there, ready in a very nice heat. My python feeding also first time frozen thought. Usually with. Um, I, I kill mice or rats, uh, rats of this juvenile, uh, weaned off rats and mice, I kill them so that they don't inflict injuries on the snakes and I just wiggle them around uh, to make them look alive. But this is first time frozen thought and I didn't like that, I, I didn't think that they would like the uh, wet rats. But they seem to be liking it and taking it, this is the, the big female's third rat, the smaller female, she took a uh, a bit longer to realize he's getting food. This is also the male's first rat that he's eating. Uh, I think I've got about five or six rats left and I will feed the smaller buffer one more. Maybe the male one more again. The black most like an, another one. That's a, and I think there will be one or two left. I'm not sure. So yeah, this is their first feast since the start of the dry season. Uh, I didn't have the, the correct amount of eating equipment, but because this cage was occupied by Western Bart Spitting Cobras, and uh, they are now with an, uh, another friend of mine, and so now I have this cage open. I had the three mole snakes and the python two tubs on a heating pad and I just didn't think that the heat would be enough for them to digest because I have very small heating pads and I like my snakes to get the optimum amount of heat to, di to digest properly and so yeah um, no no I, I won't do this in the video the next video I will feature the puff adder that landed me <laughs> five days in hospital and uh, but I still love him He's my... Oh man, I just gave it away. <laughs> but yeah, you will feature in a next uh, separate video. By not feeding I one. The Python's not consuming. Maybe it's just me. It's moving a, a lot around here. Because constantly look down. I don't want the, the female to come at the edge and bite me in the leg. So yeah, uh, look, he's showing interest in in the movement and still swallowing. I don't want to overfeed uh, so that they die with the, the metabolic metabolic reactions occur so fast that um, they actually die. So I just I, maybe I'll feed the female puffer uh, one last rat because she has to breed this season with the male. He also needs to get another rat so that they'll be ready for the breeding season. And that small female there is, um, it's also wild caught, but I caught her at the beginning of the dry season and she was very, she, she's very thin um, at this moment as well. And so I'm just trying to get the body mass up a bit. I like it when snakes feed and then they reposition their jaws, that yawning, especially with the puff adders, you know, it's, it's very nice to see. Because puff adders is Namibia's largest um, adder that we'll find, right? Um, let me just show a video, show a caption of how this brown old snake 
once another rat. Hang on. Thing is, the mole snakes are showing interest in my pythons rat, so I just need to derive them away. Just let them let him see. Here, here we go. The side, the side of the branch. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Come on, take it. Yeah, yeah, strike. Yeah. Now he, he's never been f um, frozen, fed, or uh, dead fed anything else. Everything was live because he's, these are all wild caught specimens. You know, if you watch my video, you'll see have a, oh, all your things are captive bred or so, but that's not how Namibia works. Um, you also need to have special permits, which I have because I work with the National Museum. And that's one of the ways that you can obtain permits, um, which means that if they breed, I can give. There's, there's also no selling of reptiles. Uh, look at this small snake. He just wants to have a go at me. Yeah, let me get him some food. This is my breeding facility of rats and mice. I also keep them, these snakes outside because I would like them to have a very nice, free, large roaming space. This guy will take very nicely. He has some manners. Yeah. Like that. And I don't want to wiggle it so that he will coil around it because I want them to just know if I dangle a dead a dead uh, rat or a mice in front of them that they can just take gently. Um, I see on other YouTube channels that I'm sub subscribed to uh, that the snakes take it like like it's a pet dog just very politely and I would like these snakes to do that as well. And I forgot about this cage that's open and the last How many? four rats I'll give to these guys. So just hang on a bit. I have to give the female another rat so that she will be occupied so I can try. Damn, that's fast. The fastest striking snake in, in uh, Namibia Africa, Soska Viper, I don't know. But yeah, that's 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 extremely extremely lightning fast. I don't know another way to put it. That's damn fast, you know. Yes. And I've been struck by a speed like that. Yeah. Okay, the little boy's turn. Let's see if he'll take it. He just he says I don't know if he'll take it. I just left the rat in front of him. And he started to take it all by its own. Didn't strike it or so. That's how a lot of puff adders are killed on the road. If a, a small rabbit or a mouse is hit by a car, then they will just go and feast off that the roadkill. And as they're feasting, as they're feasting on the roadkill, uh, a car also kills them. A lot of time doing road work, um, mostly are dead zebra snakes and dead puff adders. Because zebra snakes or western bard spinning cobras and puffheaders are the most common snakes found in Namibia and both are nocturnal. Like also to bask on the roads. Python, come on, Mr. Python or Mrs. Python. Now you don't want to take this, do you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Camera skills suck at this point. I, didn't, I don't know if you guys saw. Python taking it. Maybe it's a substrate that this snake doesn't like. I don't know. But the most snakes seem to enjoy it. And here's the little guy. Where are you? There, there's his head. He doesn't like any dead sort of animals. I think he still would like to feast on uh, uh, lizards. Because uh, I think he's only about, probably about, what, a year, year and a half old. I'm not sure. But the most snakes are done feasting. I got one more rat. And that rat I want to give to, to the little lady at the back. So this is her rat. Stick my Indian far back. Yeah, and she took it. I hope you guys saw the strike. And I don't want this. I don't want her to take that rat. You know, look at the tongue movements. Going a bit to her right. Uh, she smells the food over there. And I don't want her. That's why I have these long forceps. 
Yeah, look, she's very interested in it. But I'll just take this away. Ah, oh, damn, I dropped it. I'll just take this away. And I'll put it on this side. And just attract the male's attention to this side. Yeah, he sees my movement. Look at the rat over here. Boy. Yeah. Since I gave the whole thing away, this is the male that bit me. And he is just cranky as hell. Yeah. Take the rat like that. And I think your girlfriend's gonna come and steal your meal, so I will not bother you. Because he's going into defensive mode. I just need to keep an eye on what's happening here because I don't want the most night to steal the python's food. So this is me probably signing off. Uh, I will upload this video uh, later tonight or maybe tomorrow because I'm busy with exams at the moment. And I don't have a lot of free time studying. I mean, biology, nine topics takes about four hours to study. So yeah, black mole snake, brown mole snake, little brown mole snake. All three of which are females, which sucks a lot. Would have liked to breed, breed them this season. Uh, but you know, this season is starting in about a month and a half. Um, the end of September, it is August right now. So September, October. And yeah, so hopefully I'll get a male. i put him with the females. Well, I will just take the juvenile one out. But I will put the male with this female and the, brown, uh, the black female. And hopefully I can produce, it would be really cool to produce a mole snake morph, you know, like maybe a striped or a bandit or a speckled black and brown form. I don't know, that would be just really nice to get a snake like that. You know, just remove your the pine shavings or wood shavings from your mouth. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, um, more videos from the snake park will be posted uh, feeding the snakes at the park, videos of the Anchitas Cobras and uh, Cape Cobras, Mozambique. I will not um, show Wolf's lungs feeding uh, because I mean, if you guys go on the internet you will find out what they feed on is mostly favorite is chameleons which are very nice lizards and I don't like to see Wolf's lung feeding on chameleons. So this is me signing off, thank you for watching, so again this was Frozen Thought, first time for me feeding Frozen Thought and first time for wild caught snakes feeding on Frozen Thought and uh, you can see it's dead, it's not live, so don't di uh, dislike or unlike my video, they are not fed live, so yeah thank you for watching, like and subscribe comment. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.